Hi and welcome to another Melel video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you templates. Now, templates are not a new feature in Melel. We had them for a long time, but in uh, recent versions, we made a lot of changes and uh, I think we really nailed it in uh, 3.2.1 and uh, in Melel 3.2.1 and uh, I'd like to uh, show you uh, how to use this feature. So, when you first open Melel, you normally see this window, the open template window. And this window allows you to browse the available templates and choose one as the starting point for your uh, new document. So let's say I choose uh, this one. Click open. And Melel created a new untitled document uh, based on this template and I can uh, use this to uh, as a starting point for my uh, document and you know change the details and start writing now I'll uh, close this one and uh, choose another one so I choose new and Melel will show me the open template window again now let's say I can choose uh, an envelope so this is a starting point. So I can, you know, fill in the details and uh, start uh, my envelope here. Of course, we have blank templates, new and the default. So I can use the default template, which is a plain portrait A4 with a page number. So this is how you uh, use the template browser to open templates. Of course, when you choose file open, you see the open template window and maybe this is not what you want to do. Maybe you want Melel to simply use one of the templates when you choose new and, you know, and not uh, force you to choose. And you can do that by making a template the default. So let's choose, for example, this one, default landscape and uh, click make default. And when I clicked Make Default, a little uh, red ribbon appeared on the template. And this shows me that this is the default template. Open. Now I'll close this one and choose New again here. And Melel uh, uh, immediately opens a new document based on the template I chose. Now, if I want to see the uh, browser window again, the template browser window again, I cannot choose New because it will just open a new document. But I can choose Open Template in the File menu, Browse, and see this window, and maybe choose some other template. I can also, from the File menu, choose Open Template, and here below Browse, I have a, a list of submenus, which basically shows me the content of the browser window, and I can choose some other template directly like this. So this is how you open templates when you have a default template. Now, all those templates that I've shown you so far are factory templates. They are templates that we made here at Redlex to demonstrate uh, how what you could do with Melel and to give you a useful starting points. But you would probably want to have to create your own template and set it the way you like and use that. So how do you do that? First, let's start with something, some template, let's say the default template. Now I will configure the document to my liking. So let's say, for example, that I don't want to have just a page number here. I want to have a page number and then say off total number of pages, so one of one, and uh, let's say I want to make the margins, the top and bottom margins bigger, let's say uh, also choose the view option to show the margins, so I'll say page margins here in the show uh, pop-up. And let's also use Helvetica as the default font. Uh, 
choose that okay man let's say 14 so i can make all sorts of settings text paragraph list etc and configure my uh, template and now i go to file menu and choose save as template and here I can name my template, let's say my groovy template. I can select which folder to save in. By default, we have an, a, a my templates folder, but if you want to organize your templates in, uh, in other folders, you can create new folders for templates here. You can here configure the preview so what you see in the template browser you can use the first page as the preview or maybe uh, choose a, uh, some custom image we can also write the description for the template so let's say uh, let's write helvetica uh, total total number of pages etc now I can also choose to make this template the default by clicking the make default checkbox. I'll click that, so again, and I'll save the template. Now let's close this document and create a new document. And this is based exactly on the template that I just created. Now, what if I want to make a change in this template? Maybe say, uh, I don't like the Helvetica 14. Let's change it to Helvetica 13. No problem. I create a new document based on, on the template. Make the change. Let's say, choose Helvetica 13. And choose File, Save as Template. And just save. Melon knows that this document was ba was based on the on my Groovy template, and I can simply save. And when I save, it will ask me if I want to overwrite the older template. I'll say yes. Close this document. File new, and I have a new document with Helvetica 13. So when I make changes, I can simply. Um, save them using the save as template and overwrite the older template. Of course, I don't have to make only default templates. Maybe I have a special need. Let's say uh, I want to make the page number really um, stick out. Okay. Let's make it a little bit more ridiculous. And let's uh, give the page uh, wider, even wider margins. So 90, 90, 90, 90. And maybe even let's choose a different view mode. Let's choose a compact view mode, which it shows you, doesn't show you the, the drawing of the page. And finally, let's make it uh, in the same vein. Use Helvetica 16 as the default font. I'll save this, save as template. Now let's give it an, another name. My uh, template, my big font template. And I'll save that. Now, this template is not the default because I made another template the default. So if I want to choose it, I say open template, browse. And here in the my templates folder, I can see my big font template next to the my groovy template, what, which is the default at the moment. I'll pick that. And I have a new document based on the uh, template that I just created. So very simple to, to create new templates. You basically configure a document and then choose File, save, save as Template, and you have a template to use. So I've shown you how to save templates. I've shown you how to open templates. Now I'll show you a few little things that you can do uh, with the uh, templates configuration. Uh, and this is done through, uh, via the Preferences dialog. 
choose preferences, open and save. And here I have this option, first option, which says with new documents. And I have two options, open template browser or use a template. And here it shows my groovy template. Now this option allows me to choose whether I want to see the template browser when I say new. So I'll, I'll choose this one and choose file new. And now it shows me the template browser window instead of opening the default template. Or the second option here is use a template, which basically allows me to tell Melel use a template when I, when I uh, create a new document, directly use a template. Now I can also click this button here, browse, and choose a different uh, default template. Let's say, instead of my groovy template, I'll choose my big font template. Choose. And then when I choose File New, this is the default template. So I can basically do, do all, the, all those things via the the other dialogues with the save template uh, dialogue and the browser dialogue. But this is uh, another way to look at it, but it's the same settings. Another thing I can do with templates here is the default template for import. And this is nice because it allows you to, to control how imported documents, for example, text, plain text documents, will be configured. At the moment, the default the default template for import is default, which is one of the factory templates. So let's import a Melel doc. Uh, so let's import a plain text document. Choose import plain text, and I'll choose a Chinese plain text document. So the document was imported into Melel and it's using the default uh, template. You see here the page number and the little shorter margin here. So let's choose a different template for, for this. Choose Browse. Let's say I want to use my uh, big font template for imported uh, text document. Choose. Now import uh, this document again. And you, as you can see, it's using a bigger font and I have a bigger font of uh, text here and the display mode is uh, compact mode and not metal mode. So this is how you can configure which template to use uh, importing documents. So this is uh, how you use my templates with Melon. I hope that you found this uh, tutorial useful and interesting. Uh, I'll see you next time.